hi everyone and welcome to this ultimate tutorial video namely the one of the simple linear regression by the least square method so you need to know that uh, the simple linear regression the problem of simple linear regression is set once uh, you have uh, two variables that have uh, some observation in a period of time you have two variables that have uh, some observation in a, in a period of time and while you have plot after you have plotted the uh, scatter of uh, the two variables the scatter is uh, a representation of uh, two variables is a plan while you, uh, you have represented the first variable in the x and the second variable in the y-axis so you represent the two variables in the in the plan and you, uh, you notice that uh, your two variables follow uh, seem to uh, evolve in a linear manner in your scatter so you can build a simple linear regression model in order to uh, to, to, to set a relationship between your two variables this relationship can be used in order to make a prevision so uh, as i told you very earlier in this tutorial uh, the aim of the simple variable is to set a relationship between a linear a link a linear link between two variables the first variable is called the dependent variable and the second variable is called a independent variable and the m at the end of that you should be able to make a prevision of the first or the dependent variable called y so the first thing to do is to plot a scatter scatter you represent your uh, your point in the plan in which uh, in your x-axis you represent uh, your independent variable and your y-axis you represent your dependent variable while your uh, scatter uh, seem to evolve in a linear manner you can, uh, you can try a linear regression in order to uh, check uh, some property uh, later so let us come back in the specification of our model we have our first variable that is uh, the dependent called the dependent variable supposed to be a random variable we have our dependent variable our independent variable in function of which we are going to express our dependent variable so the challenge in this situation is to compute beta 0 beta 1 so that the error term the error committed suppose supposing that our point in the scatter belong to to the line is minimum so we need to minimize the square of error in the least square method so let us move to the representation of uh, a geometric representation of the situation so as i told you earlier we in the linear uh, uh, simple linear regression we have on x-axis our independent variable and in y-axis our dependent variable so we plot a line if uh, we suppose that uh, uh, our point in the least square method we, we need to, to plot we want to plot a line in which our point on the scatter will be as close as possible to the to the line so 
while we have supposed that uh, our point belong to uh, to a to a line, we commit a, a mistake, and the error committed is the difference between uh, a real realization of uh, our dependent variable and what could have been a realization of our dependent variable is we have supposed that our point of uh, of uh, abscess x belong to the, to the line so the error is the difference between the actual realization of in the, the of dependent variable and what could have been the independent variable if the point of x i have if you have supposed that the point of x i belong to the line so the this square method is just based on a principle first of all we have we suppose that we have n couple of observation x1 y1 x2 1 y2 and so on to xn yn that have been observed on our two variable so while we have supposed that uh, our two uh, our two variable evolve in the linear uh, relation that we have specified specify we can express any uh, yi as linear combination of every yi and the error is set as we have explained to you uh, earlier so the least square method is based on the principle that uh, we have a error function a sum of square a sum of square of error we need to minimize uh, a sum of square of error what why the square of error because while we have computed square we obtain a mathematical relationship that is very easy to manipulate and is very easy to find a minimum point so to set a minimum point we in the quadratic function of two variable our variable here are beta 0 and beta 1 so to minimize our objective function that is the sum of the square of error of our scatter we minimize by annulling a partial derivative of our function and while we have annulled a partial derivative of our function we, we find the minimum of our the minimum point of our objective function that is uh, the least square method so the parameter that have been obtained that are obtained using uh, a least square method is compute as given in your screen so you can find beta 0 and beta 1 you can notice that beta 1 is a ratio of covariance of your two variable over uh, a variance of x variable so uh, the least square method is very easy to compute while you have set the relationship uh, as linear between your two variable but there are some indicator after 
making this uh, estimation of beta 0 of and beta 1 zero. main indicator is correlation coefficient to set a correlation between x and y we use the correlation uh, a correlation coefficient that is a ratio of covariance of the two variables over the product of standard deviation of any variable. The standard deviation is and uh, uh, is computed as so uh, as shown in the in your screen, and the mean is given by the relationship that you. So you, you see on, on, on my screen. So correlation is supposed to be uh, higher while the absolute value of your correlation coefficient is closer to one. So while you, the absolute value of your correlation coefficient is closer to one, you can suppose that the correlation is higher uh, is high and the correlation is low when the absolute value of your coefficient of correlation is closer to zero there are some threshold that has been uh, chosen the threshold is generally uh, 0 0.5 because uh, you know uh, your coefficient the correlation coefficient is uh, set between minus one and one so uh, you can have a negative or a positive correlation between your two variables you have negative correlation uh, uh, correlation when your coefficient of co of correlation is negative and positive uh, correlation when uh, this coefficient is possible so after that you can plot your your scatter and you see that uh, your line given the parameter beta 0 and beta 1 that have been computed show a line that is as closer as possible to your to, to, to your point on the scatter so if you took an the example of uh, blood pressure and age we can uh, set for example in a sample of uh, children uh, the relation between uh, uh, blood pressure and age and while the representation have been said to be linear we can compute we can build a linear regression in order to express uh, tension in uh, blood pressure in function of the age so that given the age of a children we can guess what's the blood pressure of uh, children Thanks very much to have listened to this tutorial video. I hope it, uh, it have helped you understand the simple linear regression.